A combination of the severe drought and bog continues to wreak havoc on crops on the Big Island. It's so bad, one farmer fears this could be the end of his business. We visited one of the hardest hit areas of Protea Farm in Kau. For 25 years, Dan Wagner's Protea Farm on the Big Island has been thriving. His business, Aloha Proteas, is one of the largest distributors of the flour in the state. We do some, some local sales. Most of our flours are shipped to the mainland. But these days, business is bad. Wagner blames the thick bog covering Kau and his farm. It's been this way for the past four months, ever since the vent opened up at Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater. And he says it's killing his plants. They've all been hit by the fog. The sulfur dioxide gets on the leaves and sits there. And as soon as we get dew or rain, it turns it into sulfuric acid and just burns it. It's like the acid that you have in your battery in your car. You wouldn't go dump that on your favorite plant. Signs of the damaging effects of VOG can be seen throughout his 11-acre farm. We wanted to show you an example of a healthy pink mink protea flower, and after looking through several hundred of the plants, we could only find just one. The rest look like this. They're either dying or dead. Wagner estimates 90% of his crops are dead and close to a half a million dollars lost. There are his king proteas left standing, the only ones able to weather the VOG, but it's not enough to fill the orders and keep his business alive. I'm trying to pay my bills. I, I don't even have enough income from the farm now to pay the farm bills, and it's going more that way every month, and I can survive this for a little while, but I need help. And help has come in the form of VOG disaster loans, but Wagner says he has no money to pay back the loans. Considering the current state of his farm, he and other local farmers are urging the government to offer grants to help them recover their losses.